What's up audit fans, Dr. Amanda White here with a question that I've been getting a lot over my Facebook page and in comments to videos, which is about overseas pathway entries. If you're an accountant in another country other than Australia, and you're interested in migrating to Australia and working as an accountant. So this is a little bit complicated. Obviously, uh, Chartered Accountants or CPA Australia or ACCA or IPA, etc., cannot help you get a visa into Australia. So you need to figure out the visa bit on your own and I'm definitely not an expert in that area. Make sure that you get some expert legal advice. But I have done a little bit of research on how you can have an overseas pathway qualification into a Chartered Accountants Australia in New Zealand and a CPA Australia membership or one of the others. So I'll start with uh, Chartered Accountants first because again, I'm just going alphabetical. Now, if you're a GAA reciprocal member, so they have a, a scheme where if you're an AICPA, so American Institute of Public Accountants, ICAEW, so the Institute of Chartered Accountants England and Wales, CPA Canada, uh, the Institute of Chartered Accountants Scotland, Chartered Accountants Ireland, the Hong Kong Institute of CPAs, or the South African Institute of Chartered Accountants, the pathway to becoming a member at Chartered Accountants Australia and New Zealand, or CANS, or CAANZ, is really, really easy. So it's documentation and um, some simple processes. I'll make sure I put a link to that particular spot in the website. Now, there are also member pathways for ACCAs, so the Association of Certified Chartered Accountants, which is mostly run out of the UK, the Institute of Chartered Accountants of India, the ICAI, the Malaysian Institute of Certified Public Accountants, the MICPA, um, but for all other accounting bodies, and I had a question today from someone in Lebanon, and he's a member, uh, hopefully, if he's a member of the Lebanese Association of uh, Chartered Accountants, then it becomes a little bit more complicated. Um, obviously, all professional bodies around the world are recognized through IFAC, the International Federation of Accountants, but Australia does not necessarily, or Chartered Accountants doesn't necessarily have a memorandum of understanding with those particular professional accounting bodies. What does that mean? That means that you'll probably need to contact Chartered Accountants Australia and New Zealand directly to talk about the best pathway. Now, in a lot of those circumstances, you have to be a professional member of that particular association overseas. Um, you have to be a member of good standing. So that means that you can't be a member who has been you know, ejected or has been investigated. You have to have a minimum of five years with that particular home body, and you have to be living in Australia or New Zealand. So you can't apply to be a member of Chartered Accounts Australia or New Zealand as a member in Lebanon, for example. Um, you have to actually be living here, which means you need to sort out that visa and that migration pathway first. So that's the pathway for Chartered Accountants Australia and New Zealand. When it comes to CPA Australia, CPA Australia has a list on their website of organisations that um, they have pathways for in terms of coming to Australia and becoming a CPA member. I suspect that there are similar residency requirements that you'd probably need to be living here, but I'll list out the countries where they have agreements. So the AICPA, the American Institute of Certified Public Accountants, and the National Association of State Boards of Accountancy, those are all in the US. Um, Canada, the Certified General Accountants Canada, so CGA. Um, you're, if you're a Chartered Accountant in Australia, you can become a CPA also in Australia. Chartered Accountants Ireland, CAI. Chartered Accountants Sri Lanka. Chartered Institute of Management Accountants. So that's SEMA, that's an International Management Accounting Association. Uh, the Chartered Institute of Public Finance and Accountancy. The Chartered Professional Association, oh sorry, the Chartered Professional Accountants of Canada, CPA Canada. The Hong Kong Institute of CPAs. Uh, the Institute of Certified Management Accountants of Sri Lanka, the Institute of Certified Public Accountants of Ireland, CPA Ireland, the Institute of Chartered Accountants of Bangladesh, the Institute of Chartered Accountants England and Wales, the Institute of Chartered Accountants in India, 
the Institute of Chartered Accountants in Nepal, the Institute of Cost and Management Accountants in Pakistan, the Institute of Indonesian Chartered Accountants, AIA, uh, the Institute of Singapore Chartered Accountants, ISCA, the Malaysian Institute of Accountants, the, which is the MIA, the National Federation of Certified Public Accountants Associations of the Republic of China, so the ROCCPA, the Philippines Institute of Certified Public Accountants, the PICPA, and the South African Institute of Chartered Accountants. So you'll notice there, again, there are no professional association um, sort of pathways clearly for members in places like the Middle East, um, in Africa, or a lot of Europe. Um, the options there, I think, would be to contact CPA Australia directly and see if there is some opportunity for a pathway that probably will require some additional professional study. And that's the same with Chartered Accountants Australia and New Zealand. If you are not a member of one of the bodies they have an understanding or an agreement with, then you'll need to come to Australia, uh, possibly be living here, um, be still a member of your overseas body for at least five years. That was the CA rule. I'm not sure if there's a CPA Australia equivalent rule. Um, and you're going to probably have to sit some modules here in Australia, probably related to ethics, um, to our auditing regulations, to our tax regulations, and potentially if there's a capstone for the particular professional qualification that you're looking for here in Australia. So I know that Australia is clearly a keen destination um, for migration. We've got great weather, there's a fantastic economy, we're very multicultural. So definitely check with some experts in your particular country about a migration pathway and then potentially contact the professional body. Uh, one of the professional bodies, CPA Australia Chartered Accountants. You can also consider um, the Institute of Public Accountants, though I don't know whether there are any migration pathways in that area. Addendum, I just checked with the Institute of Public Accountants Australia, the IPA website, and if you are an IFAC member, uh, so a member of an IFAC recognized body, like uh, for example, if you're in Lebanon and you're a Lebanese, a uh, member of the Lebanese Association of Chartered Accountants, I think it is, um, then if you're an IFAC member, you can apply to be a member of the Institute of Public Accountants in Australia, IPA. Um, check out their details on their website because you'll probably need to have an evaluation of exactly which country you're coming from and then they will talk about the best pathway to becoming a member. They recognize all IFAC uh, professional bodies, not a limited number like CPA Australia and Chartered Accountants Australia and New Zealand. Um, there might still again be some education, but check out the IPA website for more details. I hope you found that useful. If you have any questions about becoming an accountant in Australia, I'll pop contact details in the links for Chartered Accountants Australia and New Zealand and CPA Australia. Drop them an email and I'm sure they'll be able to help you. Thanks for watching and I'll chat to you again next time. Bye.